Hey guys, welcome to 334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I'm out here with a trolling motor that I've taken the head off of and cut the shaft down on and mounted it on the back side of the kayak. Um, and I've had a few requests from a few subscribers that want to know now they have forgotten how to put the head back on the trolling motor because now they're wanting to take the trolling motor back off the kayak, uh, put the head and the uh, all the controls back on the trolling motor to use it in a different application. So they want to know how to put it all back together. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can take the trolling motor uh, back off your kayak, uh, mount the head back on here, put it all back together the way it was before. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you find it helpful, leave me a like. If you have any questions about this process, leave me a comment. And guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, my channel is growing and I appreciate all the support. So thank you for watching. Okay, guys, this is the head of a trolling motor. You have a base, you have the top cap of the trolling motor the head, and you have your handle for your forward and reverse. Now, when you pull this off of the trolling motor there, you have the hole right here, which goes through the shaft which holds the base to the shaft you also have six holes here that uh that holds your cap and base together for it uh so right now all i'm gonna do is just pull the cap off inside here you have your switch and your handle that go through there, which I'll show you how them reconnect in a second. The first thing we need to do is take the base. I'm going to run my wires right back through here, which they'll come back out inside here. I need to set this back on the shaft, line it up to get where I need to drill my hole at on the shaft to hold the base back to it. So. What you want to do is just take your wires, feed them back up through the feed them back up into the base. Slide that base back onto the shaft like this. You'll see the top part of the shaft inside the base here. Make sure it's down nice and tight. Now you want to line this base up with your motor. So just line it right back up. You want the back side of the base to be by the prop at the back side of the motor. Just line them back up to the best you can. You want to take a marker. Where your bolt needs to go through the shaft here from the base of the uh, base of the head you just want to mark you a small hole or a small spot on each side which is marking the shaft that way you can drill a hole to get your bolt back through there to hold the base of the head back to the shaft of the trolling motor and once you have that marked you can take your base pick it to just slide it back off set it to the side now we have our mark here on each side where we need to run our bolt through now since this is so close to the top uh, you can hold your wires to the side all I'm gonna do is take now this is a 3 16th inch uh, drill bit that's the size of the bolt that goes back through the shaft. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to hold my wires to one side and I'm going to drill a hole back through the shaft. Now this is not very hard. You don't have to do it very fast. There we go. And then come on this side here. Drill your hole on this side that you got marked.
just hold your wires to the side just do not catch your wires guys if you if you think you can't hold your wires to the side to keep from damaging them then just stick you something down in there to protect your wires to keep without damaging them now once you get your hole drilled just make sure that your bolt does slide across there okay just tuck your wires back up in there All right, get the base back down on the shaft. Line your hole up. Make sure your wires, make sure your bolt don't grab a hold of your wires. You can take your screwdriver. There we go. Now I'm gonna take the camera down and show you what I got here. When you get the bolt run through the shaft there, like so, you have your nut on the front side. Now this secures this base back to the shaft. Now on the inside, as you can see where that bolt ran through i've got the wire split on each side uh that makes it to where the uh where the bolt is not grabbing hold of the wires they're still loose down in there that's what i was meaning by uh making sure your wires do not get pinched by that bolt going through but this secures the base back to the trolling motor shaft and as you can see it's lined back up with the motor now inside here you got a couple of clips you got a clip here you've also got a couple of clips right here that is so you can rerun your wires around okay guys i got you set up above the base of the trolling motor here now you got a set of battery wires these are your let me set that out of the way this is your motor positive and your motor negative this is your yellow and white wire for your speed control. These are for your trolling motor only. That's for the motor itself. Now to get your battery wire for your battery negative and battery positive back through, you have a hole right here that is right at the front of the trolling motor that would go to your battery. So you want to take your wires for that. Slide them out of the way. Let them come right up in there. This will go back to your battery to hook up to your battery. Now, all you want to do with your battery wire is let your battery wire follow around to the side with your other wires, just like so. Now everything is gonna go to the switch. Everything is color-coded on the switch. You have your red, your black, your white, and your yellow. All this is only for your trolling motor. These two here are your battery negative and battery positive here. So your red 
that it shows here and your black that it shows here are your motor positive and motor negative. So you want to plug the motor positive and your motor negative back up to the switch just like so. Now, your battery positive and battery negative are going to go right here where it says battery negative and battery positive. Let me make sure I'm right, yeah. Battery positive and battery negative. Now your battery positive is gonna be the red and black wire. The solid black is gonna be your negative. You want to replug them up. Now, your yellow wire will plug back into the switch there. Your white wire will plug back into the switch here. Now that gives you all your wires hooked back up to this switch. You have your motor positive, your motor negative, your battery negative, your battery positive, your yellow wire, and your white wire. Everything is back onto the switch now, and like I said, it's all color-coded to tell you where it goes. Now this switch has got to set back down in here. So you need to get all your wires tucked and run back around. Let me get this back on here. So where the switch is gonna set in here, get all your wires, I'm gonna undo this yellow guys, to plug it in here, that way my wires set back in here better. You just wanna make sure that all your wires can get tucked around where they can't get damaged, uh, that way any of your screws that come through here won't be catching any of your wires so just tuck them back around in the base get them as unified as you can inside there where they look halfway decent now i got everything setting back down in there just like this now from this point here the only thing you got left is putting your top plate right back down on there just like so make sure this collar is connected give it a full test make sure everything stays like it's supposed to and the only thing you got left now is taking the screws to the bottom side here just like so and screw that top cover back down to your base Let me pull the camera down here. And that's it, guys. That is how you put the head of a trolling motor back onto a shaft that you've cut down. We've got our bolt run back through the shaft, which holds the base back onto the trolling motor. We got the head put back on, the control knob. And this one, I believe, had an extension handle. So see, it still extends. And that's back on. You have your battery wires here that come back out. This would connect back to your battery. And the head is back on. But that's it, guys. I mean, that, it's just as simple as that. Uh, let me pull... I only put two little screws in it. Let me pull them back out real quick. 
there we go i'm gonna pull it back off of there just so i can show you this from this side here as you can see i have all the wires tucked back around how i have them tucked back around how they go back into the switch here They kind of tucked around and out of the way. Go over this one more time. See how this collar right here, how it sits right inside of there. Right here, how it sits right down inside there. Now this switch also has a little clip right there, as you can see. It kind of clips it down to keep it from kind of moving around in there as it sits there. The top cover plate also has them grooves that way when the top plate sits back down on there it kind of helps hold it into place there so that's it guys uh i hope you found this video helpful if you did please leave me a like uh and as always guys i appreciate you watching thanks